Do you have an EJ Subaru engine that idles funny like this? Or idles really stupid when it's cold, either revs its nuts off or um, inconsistent idle? Um, well, good chance that it is the idle control valve needs servicing. Really common problem on these engines. Um, as you can tell, mine's got fairly bad at the moment. It's usually worse when I've had the battery disconnected, but it's being really stupid today. You can see it's uh, bouncing about 100, uh, 500 RPM at the moment. Anyway, um, what it is is that idle valve just gums up with age um, and the computer just can't control the idle properly when it gets really bad. Um, not idling up properly when the air conditioning's running either. So, a um, couple of different ways to um, clean it. You've got the quick and rough way, which I'll do first or quick and easy way, or the proper way of pulling it apart and cleaning it out. I'll show both of them. Firstly, the idle control valve is actually in a few different locations on various EJ engines. They moved it around over the years. Um, now this engine uh, is a bit of a bastard hybrid I've created. The actual engine itself is a... Um, 2005 model EJ25 but it runs all the manifold and fuel injection hardware off my original engine which was a generation 1 EJ22 um, 1992 model and with them the idle control valve is just there to the <laughs> what would be the right hand side in the Subaru car um, but I have seen them, the later ones have them over on this side, just down there somewhere and I've even seen later models where it's integrated into the throttle body which is normally in a different position to that as well um, so basically the idle control valve is one function only it's a second throttle plate of sorts. All it is is a little flap that opens and closes. The more it opens, the faster the engine idles. So the computer tells it to idle up um, when the engine's cold, for instance, or the air conditioning's running. And what happens over time is the little uh, valve that opens and closes just gums up with carbon that these engines uh, get a build up of over time and when it starts getting really bad the computer has trouble um, well not the computer the motor has trouble moving the valve open and closed um, now as I said this is a 1992 manifold and as you can see it still has the factory sealing paint on it. The idle valve has never been a part on it. So, quite amazing that it still functions as well as it does. Um, I'm just going to do a quick bastardized clean up first. All that involves is pulling the intake hose off it, which is this thing here. And then I'm going to pump it full of the trusty. Subaru upper engine cleaner. Okay, so I've got that back together now. Uh, this method's not a good way to do it. It's just a lazy way, which is quick and requires minimal disassembly. And it doesn't work if it's really badly gummed up, just a little bit gummed up. Um, it can help. I am going to have to pull this one off and clean it properly very soon. But I'll probably wait till the next time I've got the engine out. If you put a bit more than normal in, the engine can be a bit tricky to start again. But it shouldn't drag too much through. Oops. 
my check engine light's still on. A little bit smoother. Um, I'm going to have to do it properly though. I love how smooth these engines idle. So, there's the rough way of fixing it. So, due to the tight confines of the Volkswagen engine bay, um, I'm going to show how to clean it properly on one of my spare manifolds. Um, a lot easier to see what's going on. Um, so, this is just another um, Gen 1 EJ22 manifold. So, there's the the valve right there, I've just removed the electrical plug off it might even remove the coil pack plug and throttle position plug as well to give me a bit extra room okay that's a bit better um, radio, I've also got the purge control valve um, unplugged as well so there's our idle control valve um, that's the big main hose which runs to the intake hose off the throttle body. And there's two other hoses here. We got that one there and this one. They're actually coolant hoses, so obviously you don't do this when the engine's hot. Um, that one there runs down to the coolant manifold from memory, and this one here will just release that clamp and uh, pop that off. Um, then to remove it, you've just got four bolts. Now, I suspect this one may have actually not long been cleaned. Uh, the engine this manifold was off had actually only just had a timing belt service done. Um, and, you can see it's got a nice new gasket on it, because it's a good idea to buy replacement gaskets when you do this job just in case they don't come apart in one piece and you can see that the factory ceiling paint on the um, th uh, little slotted screws there has been broken so I reckon this one's been cleaned already but I'll still go through the process anyway um, now it is actually a good idea to mark where that uh, sits because um, the one in the bug's in a very similar position and if it's too far one way the engine won't be able to idle either too low or too high um, so I'll try not to disturb that um, marking just there so the best way to clean it is to spray the uh, upper engine cleaner through the openings while rotating the shaft on it and uh, let's see how much gunk comes out of this one so it seems I was wrong and that one was absolutely filthy inside um, you can see how much crap came out of it but it is now spotless inside and turns so much smoother.